You know, when you start talking about AI and the possibilities of the future, a little bit becomes interesting, a little bit of it becomes scary. And that brings me to my review of the film, I'm Your Man. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the film I'm Your Man, which is showing at this year Toronto International Film Festival TIFF 2021 under the Special Presentations category. Now yes, as I opened up with this video, I said, you know, when you start talking about AI and the possibilities of it, sometimes it can be really cool, sometimes it can be really scary. And this one definitely explores a very thin line between whatever side you want to be on that. So you have Alma, who is played by Maren Egger, who is a scientist, and she is tasked, as she is reluctant to take the job, in order to study these androids, basically, uh, and, and in order to determine if they're fit for society. And basically, they're, they're supposed to be perfect companions. So like, you know, for anybody who's, who's looking for that void in life, these androids are supposed to be that perfect match for you. But again, you know, Especially like movies like, uh, what was it, iRobot, you know, with Will Smith, when you're just like, okay, cool. Um, also, I can see how this could be problematic. You see a lot of the positivities of it, and we all know that AI continuously learn and how that could ultimately overthrow mankind and whatnot. We, we all know that. We all understand it. Just like we understand time travel. It's like the same concept here. And, you know, Ma, uh, Alma is, um, you know, basically like us. Which she's just like, cool like i see how this could be good but also see how this could be really bad and i think what's really interesting about her character is because it has a lot to do with her own personal journey that she's been through and also the scientist part of her so she i feel like she's looking at it from a balanced standpoint but ultimately she does take the job where she ends up studying tom who's played by dan stevens who does a fantastic job he's this english accent roomba dancing robot who is very much eager to finding her happiness and she has a lot of happiness that she can need in life she has a huge void herself and the chemistry between the two of them first of all from person to robot it's really good first of all dan does a fantastic job in being a creepy robot like his mannerisms and like how he uh kind of just uh like the robot mechanics here and how he kind of like jumps up and do things and whatnot. I, I think he executed in such a perfect way because no matter what, you never look at him and think he's a human. That's the biggest thing for me. He looks like a human, but he never comes off as a human. And I think he absolutely kills the role. And then I think the 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 the, the, the tension yet chemistry you want to call between Marin and Dan. I think they really perpetrate understanding that like. I'm a little uncomfortable here, but I, I'm kind of interested. I, I think we like each other, but maybe we don't. And like, you know, again, they, they worked really well together. So I like the casting here, and I think they really get the message over of understanding this potential future of human and Android. So I also should say, because I think that this film was kind of giving you vibes that this could be slightly driving down the horror path. It's nothing horror about this at all. It's fantasy, it's comedy, it's romance. That's where we're at with this. And it's super comical at times amongst anything else. Like the, com the, the comedy side of things almost drown everything else for me. To the point that it almost feels like a parody, which is cool, you know? But um, I will say that um, there was definitely some characters in this. Like every person was like a character. Like people definitely were just, uh, um, you know, people were just very much, uh, very vibrant off the screen. And that's what I really do appreciate with this. Like it, it definitely had vibrant characters. Um, but while she is testing for three weeks, there's another element to this. While she is testing for three weeks, she also has to determine, you know, she has to give her analysis afterwards. But while the two of them are growing closer and closer together, it's, it starts to become a bond and then it also becomes the possibility of like oh wait maybe you are my perfect man and then that's scary to her because she can't envision herself being a robot because her morales are thrown off here she knows it's a robot she knows it's not human and although he may be the perfect person he isn't a human and 
quite frankly, this also explores another thing of people not knowing what they want because she's definitely having a, a, a very mor a morale battle of tug of war here. I'm like, I want this, I don't. I don't know if I want this, I think I do. But she has three weeks to decide because after that, then he gets he goes to the chopping blocks and then that's just it. That's just it. But I really do love like the swift and subtle movements between the robot. I can't emphasize enough. It's really, really good. But I, I think also too, what's interesting with the character Alma is that we do understand why, much like our robot, why she does not want to get close to anybody, human or robot. We understand the psychology of this character so that you can kind of sympathize why she's like that. Because everybody else is very much susceptible of it. Everybody else knows that that's the perfect person for her. So everybody's definitely like, what are you doing? <laughs> like. Get on this, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's a good story because it tells a story about somebody who potentially doesn't know what they want, um, struggling through identifying that. Also kind of a, is the grass green on the other side thing. And ultimately discovering what you want, vice versa, what you need before it's too late. So there's a lot of good like themes intertwined with everything that's going on here. Um, and that's kind of how life is. Sometimes you don't understand what you got until it's gone. And I think a lot of us can relate to that. Um, and also, we also have people who self-destruct while they are in the presence of greatness, you know? And that's all a bunch of different things that this film definitely highlights. So pretty good film. I, I enjoyed this, very entertaining. I don't think that, you know, without looking at this from a critic standpoint, this is just a film you can easily digest, have fun. Definitely similarities to things you've seen in the past. But ultimately, it's fun uh, for it to be about an hour and almost two hours. I think that it just it goes by and there's this, you know, element after element after element. Almost feels like a chapter of a book where you see them progressing. That's how relationships are. You see the building up to deciding ultimately, are we going to do this or are we not going to do this? But it's also a thing behind like a, also we kind of have an expiration date here. Three weeks. Otherwise, Robot Tom is gone. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. But totally, folks, check this film out. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this film. Um, you know, again, I, 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 if AI scares you, then yeah. If you think this is going to be the future, you may be a little bit scared about this at all. I wasn't scared at all with that. But it's definitely um, it's definitely a, a very, it's, a, it's an enjoyable film. So check it out, folks. Jump in the comments and let me know. And I'll see you around for more reviews.